to go to for the how do you know that you want to get beautiful Hi Brimpers! Today I am going to be showing you guys how to get a really dreamy, beautiful, perfect coverage complexion with your foundation. Now I think that getting a perfect base is so important, especially at the moment with the big trend in beauty being all about really kind of pared back makeup but natural, luminous, flawless skin and I think that so much of that comes with just having a really perfect base um, which includes your primer, your foundation and a little bit of powder. Um, and also choosing foundation formulas that really suit your skin type as well as your skin tone because ultimately that's kind of the most important thing. So I'm just going to launch right in and start by showing you three really basic steps in order to correct your foundation and get that perfect base point to start from which you can then kind of add your bronzer and your blush and whatever else you want to your face depending on the look that you're going for. But I think that the most important place to start is with the primer. So I'm just going to start by applying a primer all over my face just with a foundation brush and essentially what this does is allow your foundation um, and everything else that you're putting on top of it to really stick. So I mean you can even put it on your eyelids if you're going to be wearing especially under like a creamy um, eyeshadow formula. Primer is really important just because it stops it from slipping around. Um, it's also really great to primer if you have oily skin because it's just going to reduce your pores a little bit or the appearance of your pores. It's going to kind of help conceal, I guess, and stop some of that oiliness coming through. And it just kind of mattifies your skin and gives you a really even finish underneath, a really even complexion, which we all want. So I've applied my primer. Um, now I'm going to go into my foundation. Now, in terms of foundation, I cannot stress the importance enough of finding not only the right shade, but the right formula as well, because my skin my skin's different to your skin, which is different to the person sitting next to you right now. So, you know, there's all different types of formulas out there at the moment that are catered to different skin types, and that's the first and most important step that you guys need to look at when choosing your foundation. So for me, I have pretty normal skin. It's not too oily, it's not too dry. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish Liquid Foundation today because I love a liquid foundation. However, this range actually also has the Dream Smooth Mousse, which comes with this funky little packaging with this brush, which is really great for dry complexion. So if, you, if your skin's really dry and you want something that's gonna lock in that moisture, something like this is much better for you. Um, or if you have really oily skin, the Dream Matte Mousse um, is another great option for you guys because it's gonna stop that oiliness coming through. You want that natural matte finish without it looking cakey. So something like this is super important. So as I said, I'm gonna be using the liquid foundation. Um, and as once you've kind of got your formula correct, it's really important to then, of course, find your perfect shade because let's face it, there is nothing worse than seeing people with the foundation lines here. It's just so bad. So my advice to you guys, I know that we've said it on prep before, but I'll say it again. My advice is always to test your foundation on your face, not the back of your hand, because that's a completely different color. So test it on your side and see, make sure that there isn't a line. And also test it in natural light, even if that means going into Priceline or wherever with the buddy, trying on your foundation and then just popping outside out of the kind of luminous light, like exactly what I'm under now, um, just to really test whether it's the right color for you because those lights can distort things a little bit. So, um, what shade? I'm using Sandy Beige here, that's my color, and this is my formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply my foundation with a foundation brush. Now, of course, you can use your fingers, but if you use your fingers, make sure they're really clean because we don't wanna be clogging our pores with any dirt that's left over on our fingers. And also, with foundation, you don't really need to apply it all over your face. So I start from my nose and work outwards because that's the area that kind of needs the most coverage. So start here, cover all those pores, cover any redness, really use the brush to get in and around your nose. Take it right under your eyes there, not too close obviously because you don't want to irritate them and your concealer can come in later. But really work the colour out. A lot of the times the foundation doesn't even need to go near your hairline, which is probably a good thing because it tends to get stuck. I know sometimes, you know, I do my makeup and you see a little bit of hair foundation in the hairline 
that's probably another thing that we don't really want to be looking for. So foundation, the key is not to cover your face. We don't want it to be a mask. That's not what its purpose is. It's more about evening out your skin tone only where it needs it. So you know, if you find that you've just got, I have a, you know, a little spot here or a little bit of uneven pigmentation, just to, basically on my T-zone really, that's the only area that I really need to focus on. However, use your brush to take it underneath your jawline as well and work outwards. Now you can go on top of your um, eyelids if you want just to make sure you've got that smooth even finish and really just make sure it's perfectly blended everywhere. Now my foundation, it's looking pretty good. I've checked everywhere, there's no lines. Um, it's all perfectly blended and that's why I do like using a brush as well because you just get more of an even kind of airbrush finish to give you that beautiful dreamy kind of perfect base that we love so much. Now that my foundation's on, all I need to do is just add a little bit of translucent powder. Now this is a really great way just to set your base and basically what that means is just allowing all the product to kind of be set, I guess. So um, making sure that it doesn't slip around, it doesn't move throughout the day. Um, and the best way to do that is just with a really simple translucent powder and just a little fluffy brush or a brush, a bl no, a powder brush. I was going to say a blush brush, but we're not using that. A powder brush, just something big and easy. And because I don't tend to get oily in many areas, it's mainly just my T-zone. That's the only place that I'm going to kind of put this translucent powder. And it's really where I focus my foundation anyway. So I've already put a little bit of it on this powder brush. And I'm just going to literally just dab it on. Now, obviously a translucent powder you can't really see, um, which is ideal. This is really just to set the look. You don't want to see the powder. The last thing you want is noticeable, that kind of powdery finish. As well as um, you don't really want to keep the, the powder near any fine lines and things like that. I've just got a few coming through here. So I try not to powder that area too much just because I don't want the powder getting in there and accentuating my lines. So just really lightly brush that whole area with the translucent powder and what that does is just essentially mattify your t-zone once again if you have really oily skin um, you would probably want to go for the matte mousse finish and then put the the translucent powder a little bit more over your face or the areas where you get really oily if you've got really dry skin you might not need the translucent powder at all although I do think setting your foundation um, is always a good step so just remember primpers whenever you want to perfect your base it's all about choosing the right shade as well as the right formula for your skin type that's probably most the most important lesson that I can teach you but aside from that this is three really easy easy steps to get your perfect foundation base see ya